Hello guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build the EMD SD9 from the Burlington Northern Railroad. And this was a commission by someone anonymous. They didn't want a shout out. And uh, thank you for that anyways. And uh, if you want to do commissions, uh, you can check out my Silify page. Uh, link in the description. And uh, yeah, this is a diesel locomotive. I think it's used for shunting. And it uh, goes nice with the BN caboose over there. <laughs> They're all green. I think they merged with BNSF now so anyways let's get started so first off let's build the front part so we're gonna take uh, scion hardened clay make a 2x5 on top of the tracks and uh, let's make the center um, 28 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And um, also make a 2x5 at the back. And let's add a uh, coupling in the middle, which is just a stone brick slab. And on either side of that, let's add a tripwire hook for the air brakes, I think. And let's do the same thing in the front. And then in the middle, let's fill that in also with more of this scion hardened clay. And do the same thing on this side. And I think this is my first long hood uh, locomotive. Because usually they have like this short, uh, like a nose part, but whatever. So next let's make uh, the wheel. So we're going to take a uh, hopper and uh, skip these two blocks over here. So two hoppers and we're going to make three of them. So skip one here. Just add two per wheel. Then let's add stone brick slab in between them. Go to the other side. And let's uh, just skip these two, then add the three uh, axles of hoppers. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, for the wheels, I mean. And let's add in between also. And for this one, let's add an extra. Actually, no, this for another one, I was confused. So. Next thing we're going to do is add uh, some more scion hardened clay, just make another 2x5 with a block of space in between. And then we're going to take out these two right here. And we're going to take, I don't have it right now, so let me grab it, get a stone slab, and make this uh, staircase kind of like this. And let's do the same thing on this side. So just start on the second wall so that we can make our stairwell. Alright, so after we do that, let's take birch fence and just add uh, these railings like this. Just make that shape and then add one on the second wall. And let's do the same thing on the side. All right, so next let's add some lime wool uh, right over here. And we're gonna make that two blocks long. And then, uh, let's see, let's say quartz and add uh, this in the middle, uh, right in between the staircases and then uh, lime wool on top of that. And then quartz again. And for this one, we're going to do the opposite. So it's going to do lime wall, then quartz, and then lime wall. And then let's extend this wall all the way back here. And then on top of that, we're going to add gray wool. Like that. Fill that in. And for the front part, let's add a sign for the number plate. You can put whatever number you want. But I'm just going to leave that blank for now. And then let's add an item frame and a white stained glass block. And this is for the light on top. Alright, next, so we're going to add a stone brick slab on top. Just make this, I think it's called a chevron. <laughs> and then in the middle of that, we want a dark oak fence gate. And this is for the horn. So there's actually two horns, I noticed. One in the front and one in the middle. 
Although there's different versions of this. This is the one I came up with. So then we're gonna add the rest of the roof with this stone brick slab. And uh, let's go down here and add stone brick slab uh, until uh, it covers all the hoppers. And then add an extra one like that. And do the same thing on this side. And also this side as well. So you can see it's right above the hoppers and then we'll get extended by one just in case you didn't get that. Alright so next we're gonna add uh, polish andesite. It's just four blocks on the sides like that. And I believe they're the same on both sides so yeah we're gonna leave that alone. So we're gonna go down here and fill in the middle three uh, with the polished andesite like that. Yeah, I can fill that in as well. So there's actually an extra one like that. And uh, this one, it's actually for, they have like this cylinder under here. So we're gonna add a skeleton skull like that on both sides. And then we're gonna take a uh, stone brick stairs just add that uh, four blocks on each side like so and once we're done with that let's take some more lime wool and quartz and make those stripes in the back so uh, we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna add quartz lime wool quartz and for the side ones yeah unlike the front we're gonna uh, move <laughs> one block this way then we're gonna add uh, lime wool, quartz, lime wool. And then on top of that, we're gonna add gray carpet. I mean, not gray carpet, gray wool. And then let's do the same thing, add a light, which is item frame and white glass block. And after that, we can add uh, the number plate on either side of that. And on top of that, let's add stone brick slab like so. Alright, next let's take uh, bedrock and we're gonna make this uh, seven blocks long so one, two, three, four, five, six, never mind just six blocks. Cancel that. It's kinda hard because you can barely see the uh, differences between the blocks. Alright, so next let's add a uh, gray wall in between that and then add a skeleton skull right here and every other block so like so and these are for I think they're the fans on top and we add stone brick slab around that alright so after we do that uh, we can add lime wool under there And then we can add one lime wall here. And then we're going to fill uh, this in, which is four blocks of quartz. So one, two, three, four. And I believe this is, they have a number painted on here as well. Then we're going to add the rest is just lime wall. Like so. And once we're done with that, let's take gray wool. And go to the front and we're going to add this cab extension here. It's going to stick out so put that right there. Then after that we just add black stained glass block. Just add two on each side and then gray wool again. And then underneath uh, the windows we're going to add quartz. And I think this is also where they put the number. And they're also the BN logo. And then let's take more lime wool and just fill in the rest of the cab. Just the sides all around it. Alright, next let's take a birch fence. Just add one of them here and another on top like that. Then let's take a uh, spider string. Put that right here. And then we're going to add some lime carpet 
like that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is add a stone brick slab to the sides like that and the roof of the cab it's gonna bump up a little bit so it's gonna look like that and that is basically just uh, gray wool on top like a 3 by 4 and then let's add uh, gray wool under here so we're gonna go down one block and just fill this entire layer in with gray wool Alright, so after we do that, let's take uh, stone brick slabs again and make a O like that, like a little donut. And in the middle of that donut, we're going to add the second horn with the dark oak fence gate like that. And then let's take some more stone brick slabs and I uh, make this T shape, so add three. And then an extra one uh, jutting out like that. And the sides of that, we're going to add stone brick stairs. And then another stone brick stairs, but we're going to make it face the front upside down like that on the sides. All right, next thing we're going to do is add uh, some more stone brick stairs. So you got to make this. So we just go to. Uh, the first skeleton skull just go diagonal like that add stairs like that and make the second one curve outwards like so and I wonder if I'm doing that right okay am I? I, all right, I am that's good alright so next we're gonna add an <sighs> alright so next we're gonna add a stone brick stairs like that upside down facing the back and in between these stone brick slabs, we're going to fill that in with black wool. So it's just three blocks on each side. And on top of that, we're going to add a uh, gray carpet. Like so. And in the middle, let's add gray wool. So it's a three by three right there. And also, um, we're going to take some more polish and a site just add two blocks like that and on top of that we could add slabs so we need another brick slab here near towards the back and it's a stone brick slab in front of it so it looks like that and then we're gonna add uh, there's more fans I can't really make this on top of it so I just added the iron trap doors two of them like that uh, spaced out like that and uh, after we do that actually we can just take apart this part so now it looks like a stripe all right so we took apart those <laughs> gray carpets in the corners and after we do that let's work on uh, the body more I guess so I think it's just lime wool for bottom layer so that let's just add that in all right and then we're gonna add a lime wool column here then a two by two of bedrock then another lime wool column and then a two by three of bedrock and then the rest is just lime wool Alright, so after we do that, let's add, um, I think, there's like this little light on top, it's like a yellow warning light, we're just going to add a skeleton skull in the middle towards the back of the cab, like so, like so, and uh, let's make the banner for the door, which is uh, that, so we're going to make a black banner, and add a gray dye border around it. And after we do that, uh, we're gonna take lime dye, add a row underneath it. So it should look like this. So let me place it. Yeah. I just made a hole. Oh well, I'll fix that later. So we just add that right here where the doors should be. Just, just on the four corners of the cab. 
All right, so <clears throat> after we do that, we're going to take a line wall and add three blocks right here. So one, two, three. On the other side, I believe I did the same thing. And then let's go over here. Let's take another brick fence and add that every other block. So starting from here, every other block. And it should be the same thing on the other side. All right, so after we do that, uh, let's take a uh, string and then add that between the fences so that we can hold up the carpet without looking weird. And the carpet we're going to use is lime. So it's like the same color as the locomotive. So lime carpet, just add that right above it, all the way across. And for this part, uh, we're gonna add a stone brick st stairs, so it kind of goes up like that. Just remember to add that. So yeah, we're just adding the lime carpet all on top. Thought I misplaced a uh, lime carpet right there. Did I? No, I didn't. All right. So after that, uh, we might be finished actually. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it on how to build the EMD SD9 from Burlington Northern. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already, because I will be uploading more train tutorials in the future. Uh, we got Spencer on the way. He'll be here soon. And uh, we have a lot more builds to go. So anyways, guys, uh, oh yeah, if you want to do commissions, just check out my self fi page, link in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.